Thanks for tuning in. My name is Sushan. I'm from Packet Fusion. And today, we're going to talk about certificates and the Mitel My Voice Connect system. Some of the topics we're going to cover today are certificate format requirements for Mitel Connect, OpenSSL and format conversions, and we'll briefly see the certificate installation process in Mitel Connect Director. As discussed in our certificates basics presentation back in March, the Mitel My Voice Connect system uses the Base64 encoded X.509 format. Typically, the certificates come in .cer or .crt extensions, can be opened through Notepad or any text editor, and is human readable. This, this is uh, a storage of one certificate, does not include the private key. Some of the Mitel install documentation also refers to this format as the Apache or the PAM format. The other format you're most likely going to run into is the Personal Information Exchange format, also known as PKCS12. Now, this is the certificate format of choice in a Windows machine. So these are the only certificate formats that can contain private keys. Uh, and since private keys are important, the, these formats are usually password protected. Well, the good news is that you can convert across formats. OpenSSL is an industry standard toolkit used for format conversions and is used to extract private key information from certificate files provided. Please note that the certificate file that has private key information is almost always password protected. OpenSSL is available on all of our MyTel servers, HQ and DVS, and all the OpenSSL commands can be run on our servers. In the example shown here, we see how an OpenSSL command is used to convert a PFX certificate format to a text file for use on Mitel My Voice Connect. Here we shall demonstrate the process of installing a third-party SSL certificate into the HQ server in Director. Please note that the certificate that you're installing matches the FQDN information provided in the director. What you see here is the Windows Certificate Store. <clears throat> you get here by clicking on Start, Run, type MMC, choose Add Remove Snap-ins, choose Certificates, Local Computer. And what you see here under the Personal section is the customer's existing certificate, if they have one. You see that information such as the expiration date. In fact, you could right-click all tasks and export information of this certificate, such as the private key information, if you would like to use that for import onto other Mitel appliances. As we have mentioned before, we need the certificates in Base64 format for import. We should provide the entire chain while importing into Director including the intermediate bundles and the root certificates. Here, we see the certificates that we're going to import. We see the main wildcard certificate, we see the bundle, and we see the private key. So we go ahead, click the Choose Files. We then browse to our certificate folder. We select all the certificates that we're going to import. and we click on the Save button. So once the certificates were imported, you can now look at the Key Store folder into the subfolder called Certs, where all the public certificates are kept. And you can see the changes that have occurred once those new certificates were imported. We see the date and timestamp for the server.crt to reflect the changes. We also see the date and timestamp change for some of the other certificates like hq.crt and so on. You can also go to the certificate store now and verify the new certificate, as we see here, with the new expiration date. So to summarize some of the key takeaways here, 
Base64 encoded format is used by Mitel MyVoice Connect. We install the certificates in the director for the servers. We provide the entire chain of certificates. And we mind format differences between devices. Thank you again for watching.